It is a crazy, crazy situation and one that we need to speak to a Burnley man about. Let's bring him in, Robbie Blake. Robbie, good evening. Robbie, good evening, lads. How you, you doing, okay? pal? Yeah, yeah. I'm you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy with this news, man. About Sean Dyche, man. I'm not happy. He's a great guy. Unbelievable. I'm just. I, I, I physically can't believe it. I was watching Sky Sports News today, and I was like, I had to double check where it was April Fools. Mm. I, I couldn't. I'm, I couldn't believe it. I just eight games to go. Uh, <sighs> they've got the perfect guy in charge. Yeah. The perfect guy to even bring you back into the league if yeah. worst case scenario happened. And for them to do it, it's it. Mm. I, I, uh, it's surely to me there's there's got to be more. Do you think something's happened, Robbie? Do you think something's gone on? Do you think they've had a conversation of falling out or something, and it's been a sort of shoot from the hip moment from the owner? Jay, I, I don't see any, any other reason. But listen, we've all played the game. We know certain things go on in in managerial or players' positions, but I, I, it's just such a, a shock that something, in my opinion, must have happened. Whether it's a financial side of it, whether they've had a meeting. Be, you know, I, I don't know, but there's something. It's just, you know, with mm. with a the position, there's four points in between Everton. I've seen oh, Everton's no. fixtures. Yeah, and Everton's shocking. fixtures are shocking. Yeah, and they haven't won. I mean, I, I haven't got the stats in front of me. I don't know how long it's took. They haven't won a game away from home for so long. And listen, I know Burnley have only won four or five games this season, which is not enough. But you know, if anybody's the man to in this position yeah. to get you out of that position, exactly. there's, there's nobody else. I just can't, I, I can't believe it. Like I've 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 had a look at their fixtures as well, Burnley. I was thinking that's that's some winnable it's fixtures, winnable, there. fixtures, winnable there. fixtures there. Everton they got their their work cut yeah, out. Yeah. So why would you want to do this at this stage? I don't I don't know if it's it can't be financial. It can't Boys, it can't be financial. It, they've, they've got Southampton, Wolves, Villa, and Newcastle. The last they're they're the four home games they've got. <sighs> they've got West Ham away, which is no easy one. But on the back of all your odds, what's happened yesterday? That might be sort of a, a one way you could approach the West Ham game with a bit of optimism because yeah. of all tired, like, tired, know, yeah, like, exactly. like how Brentford Leggy. approached it. Yeah, yeah, and then they've, they've got Watford, which is a winnable game away from home. They've mm. got Spurs, which is obviously, to be fair, Spurs in my opinion. Now Conte has got after them that they, they yeah. look like the real, the real, the real deal, and yeah. I think they'll get fourth in my opinion. So that's a tough game. And then they've got Villa away, so there, there's games there that can be won, and I just it it. it <laughs> It's just, and, and the thing about it, lads, we've been in dressing rooms before when you lose managers. Yeah. They've got eight games, and, and Daichi's had that sort of rhythm mm. with the players for years. I mean, mm -hmm. other players have come in. Yeah. But to change it, transform a team now yeah. with eight games to go and try and get them after it, because let me tell you, we've been in dressing rooms. These, these players will mm. be as baffled as what we are. Well, uh, Robert, you, you, I mean, you make a great point there because I, I've been in dressing rooms where you've been down in, in, in the dumps and most of the time when a manager goes is because he's lost the dressing room, right? That's when yeah, you absolutely. when you lose the yeah. dressing room, yeah. the owners get wind of it and they go, right, he's lost the dressing room, we have to make a change. I don't think there's any way that Sean Dyche has lost that dressing room no with them way. players. No. They would still run through brick walls for him. Well, they did against Jay, Norwich. Jay, 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 they have been doing that, mate, but you know what football's like. On a on a regular, consistent basis, they haven't had the, the quality no. and the ability to withstand a lot of the teams around them. Mm. And you know, I've seen some crazy stat for Premier League football that Sean Dice since 2017 has had 20 million pounds to spend, <sighs> and 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 in that time they've had Europe mm. and they've they've, they've consolidated. Yeah. And really, in reality, they've never really, really, apart from the season, looked like going down. Mm. He's so, been well. He's been walking on water for them. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's miracles. It's, 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 he's, all, he, he's got being probably he's probably near the top five managers of Premier League history, right? I just think it's inhumane. Well, I think it's inhumane the way he's been treated. He's always named in the top honours for the managers of the year. Yeah, I oh, know because of the job he does. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's like you know, it, it, I don't want to be. Listen, it's not my money. It's not. The, it's the owner's money he's put in. I get all that. The financial side of it is so heavily now in in Premier League and. The, Staying up, but it, I don't. I think that's a load of nonsense when it comes to Burnley because Burnley budget to go down every year. Yeah, and it, it, if they do go down, they won't have to sell their better players so much. Yeah, and well, he sold them to Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly, Jay. You know what I mean. So they, 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 they've got no players that you would look in that squad. No disrespect to them, apart from Tarkasti, maybe he's Pope and me, mm. that would go for over double figures of millions of pounds. Mm. That's yeah. just my opinion. So, so who's, yeah. who's taking training tomorrow then? 
Well, I think well, we've got under-23s coach Mike Jackson, assisted by Academy Director Paul Jenkins. Uh, do you know these, Rob? Do you know what they're about? Uh, no, I, I know Jenky, actually, because when I was when I first started out in my Darlington days, when I was a YT, he was a year above me. Yeah. And uh, to be fair, he had a really good, successful time as under-23s um, coach at Middlesbrough. I think mm. he had a lot of success by bringing a few through. But you, you, you know what it's like, you know, Academy under 23 to be the main man. Oh, mate. It's... Certainly with eight games to go. It, it, it just, it, it, you know, like we say, you've got to be careful because obviously, you know, you don't want to be dis- disrespectful to anyone, but it just, no. it's just an horrendous decision. It's baffling. Like, it's baffling. To be fair, guys, if it came in, in the summer, whatever happened, yeah. that's different because you've got time to maybe change it. You've got eight weeks to get your team prepared for each season how you want them to play. Yeah. You can bring your own personnel in. I get all that. That's fine if you want to go down another route. You still be baffled by the decision, but now with eight games to go, mm. and and people are saying it's all over. No, it's not. No, you look at the fixtures. No. It, well, and, uh, Robbie, I just want to read out the fixtures so people are aware of the eight games that Burnley have got. They've got West Ham, Southampton, Wolves, Watford, Villa, Spurs, Villa again, and then Newcastle. Yeah. Now, you know, all right, tough games. Every game in the Premier League is tough. We know that, but there's wins there. There is wins for them there. At this moment in time as well, Jay, because you know what it's like. It takes a lot more bottle and it, it takes a leader to know what's going on, you yeah. know, in and around it. And to be fair, Daishi, he, he is the man, you know. And, you know, he, he, even but I'm looking at the game and I'm going, do you know what? Burnley away at Norwich is a tougher game than what Everton have at home to Man United because Man United are all over the place. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I see it. You know, I- and... I just it's baffling. Can't it's win, baffling. Can't win Robbie, can they can they st- can they stay up? I mean, what if you're if you go in now, if you're the gaffer or you go in as you know yeah. um, under twenty threes coach taking over, you go into that dressing room tomorrow with that group of players. What do you say to them? You just got to try and pick them up. First of all, you got to give it the respect that Sean deserves. Speak about Sean for five or ten minutes. Understand that it's football. We've got to get on. We've got a duty to do. We've got to represent the represent the club properly. Re- represent you, you yourself and your families and go out there and put a show on and let everybody in this dressing room now understand, you know, the severity of the decision, the, 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 the situation we're in. And it's only us in this, in this dressing room to put it right. And what a great opportunity now to put it right when everyone's doubting you. That's how I'd put it. And then it's up to your players, how they go after about it and how they get after things like that. You've got to set them up properly accordingly. You make sure you do your stuff on West Ham first and foremost, and then you've got to try and, set up a team to hurt West Ham and, and try and get the three points. Yeah. So, obviously, it's happened now, isn't it? So, who do you fancy to come in to replace him? Boys, honestly, I, I've been saying this to a lot of people in the game and a lot of people and myself. If Wayne Rooney had kept Derby up, honestly, I, in my opinion, it would have been better than Ranieri winning the Premiership. Yeah. Mm. That, yeah, that's true. Honestly, I, I felt that good about what Rain, Wayne Rooney's done under the circumstances that I deal with, yeah. the points deductions, even the squad. I mean, I, I think it's like 15 play, plays he's given debuts to this season in a championship. Yeah. To be competitive and still have an opportunity with five or six games to go is nothing short of remarkable. Yeah. And well, he's I, had a great I, result I, tonight I, as well, beating Fulham, who are top of the league, 1-2-1. One, one. You know, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, when you when you want to look Fulham, you expect the Fulham to go on yeah, and yeah. win 2-3-0, or three nil, but he, he's just... And I, there's only few players, Jay, Coley, I, you say that, like, when you watch Gerrard, yeah. he's got that persona, that, like, yeah. aura about him. Yeah. Rooney's got the same. Yeah. You know why he's got the same? Because he's one of us. Yeah. He's still one of us now. He's approachable. Yeah. And you know, he's just a kid off the street, yeah. down to earth. Yeah. Got, he gets and it. And, and but he'll go to the trenches for you, that's for sure. Absolutely. And he's the best. He's definitely the best. English player I've ever seen apart from Gaza. You know yeah. what I mean? Without and the way he's conducted that. himself as well at Derby as well, when he could have he could have gone for that Everton job and he turned it down yeah. as well. So it just shows turned you... Turned down for the Burnley job. I heard that, yeah. So Wayne's the bookie's favourite anyway, so you might be onto something there. Chris Wilder and Big Sam. But I mean, if you, you can put up whatever list you want, Rob, right? You can put up a list yeah. of managers for Burnley and Sean Dyche would still be top of that list. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. You know, you'd be he like, would, Sean Dyche, get him in. He would be, you'd be still saying, well, if they go down, who was the best person to get him up again? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah that's true. He's already true. done it twice before. He's already done it twice. Yeah, crazy. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Robbie, yeah. absolute pleasure, mate. Thanks for coming on. Cheers, boys. Cheers, mate. Great show. Ah, cheers. Thank Robbie, you, mate. Robbie Blake, their former Burnley defender.